What's up everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Got a special video for everyone today. This is a guide on the engineered bases and how Supercell's attempted to fix the engineered base problem. Got a, got a whole bunch of things going on, so let's get right into it. We all started upgrading kind of normally. We go from Town Hall 7 to Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, trying to max out everything as we go. Get to Town Hall 10. You start getting elite defenses. We're able to defend. You get to Town Hall 11. At the, you're at the top of the game. Uh, you start to get all these fantastic defenses to to stop the enemy right there at your doorstep. You have the Eagle Artillery. You have the Inferno Towers. And then we start running into a, a new way that everyone starts playing. It's not really new, but it's it's new as far as um, it's widespread. And that's they start paying attention to the to the weight, their war weight, base weight, raw weight, whatever you want to call it. And we call these engineered bases. And basically, what they do is they'll upgrade. It's done a bunch of different ways, but a common a common method is they'll upgrade to Town Hall Eight, and they'll max out all their defenses to Town Hall Eight, and then they'll pay very close attention to each individual defense. And they'll stop upgrading any defense that's basically splash defense or splash damage. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so in Town Hall 8, you have that's when the, that's when you have uh, the Barbarian King, you have the Hog Rider, the Valkyrie. You're starting to get some good offensive troops. Now in Town Hall 9, these engineered bases they're able to upgrade defenses like the Tesla and like the air defense because they carry very little base weight they carry very little war weight it, it won't really hurt them as far as the weight goes and then they still get some great troops they get the Archer Queen they get the witch they get the lava hound they at this point they have m much stronger troops and because they're not upgrading defenses other than these few defenses like the Tesla's and like the uh, air defenses their the weight of their base doesn't change much at all now once you get into Town Hall 10, they do the same thing. They upgrade their Tesla Towers, they upgrade their air, air defenses. But now in Town Hall 10, they, they're still upgrading their offenses. They're maxing out these offenses and they get the bowler, they get the miner. And so now we have a, their offense is extremely strong. And their defense, it, it's, not, you know, it's, it's a very strong Town Hall 8 defense. And I'll show you in a, in a minute why this is so important. Getting a Town Hall 11, now they can max out things like the Tesla and the Air Defense. And again, they're, it's adding very little weight to their base. And now they have the Grand Warden. And the Warden changes their offensive capabilities. Once they max out the Warden and they max out all these troops that we're showing here on the screen, they're able to 3-star Town Hall 11s. But because of the way they've upgraded in the lineup, in the war lineup, most of the time they'll be lined up against either Town Hall 8s or Town Hall 9s. And because they have max Town Hall 8 defenses with a few tweaks with the Tesla Towers and the air, and the air defenses and some of the in the traps, uh, they're able to defend against the Town Hall 8s that are across for them. So the Town Hall 8s can't really 3 star them very well, yet they can jump up to Town Hall 11 and 3 star. So now how does this work exactly? Well, it's all it all breaks down to the base weight and what particular defenses add to your base. So. If we were looking at this picture here, it shows the mortars and uh, the wizard towers. These are two things that they do not upgrade because they carry so much base weight. So just those two particular defenses, not counting all the other defenses on the board, like the bomb tower, which carries a lot of defenses, and the elite defenses, we have a total of 2,500 additional base weight. And that's just, the, that's just with the wizard tower and that's just with the mortar. So by, by not upgrading those defenses, and not and and not upgrading the other defenses that carry a lot of weight they're able to upgrade troops without carrying additional weight onto their base so what troops do they get it's amazing actually what they get they can max out the hog rider they can max out the valkyrie they can max out the balloon they can max out pekka they can max out the giants and and that's just on those two defenses so they leave those two defenses at town hall eight level and they get to max out all these troops for the same base weight that those two defenses would give them so you start now once they get up into Town Hall 9, 10, and 11, they'll leave off the elite defenses in 9, 10, and 11, and look at the huge difference in, in some of the weight. You have the you have things like the bowler uh, compared to the eagle artillery. We're talking about 10,000 base weight difference. There's a huge difference. 
Now, the first engineered bases that we saw kind of look like this. These are defenseless bases. Then they started to tweak it a little more, and they started advancing their bases to where these are all very low-level defenses. And then you have some of your, your super engineered bases that they figured out that you can upgrade a lot of walls, and you're able to defend really well with Town Hall 8 defenses and max walls. Now, how does Supercell fix this? We're gonna look at a bunch of we're gonna look at a bunch of things from the home village. This is from the website that we have. It's uh, clashmadeeasy.com. Uh, on every one of these pages, we've focused on the on the base weight on all, all of these uh, charts. So you see, a, a maxed air defense brings 480 base weight. And again, this is base weight, war weight, raw weight, whatever you want to call it. It's all it's all the same thing. The wizard tower talking about 3200 so you see a huge difference between the wizard tower and the air defense and there's a reason for that every single defense that that does single target defense so in other words they can only shoot at one target at a time even if it does immense damage like the air defense does it's only shooting at one target so it's not allotted a lot of, of weight for that defense whereas the wizard tower that does not do much defense I mean I'm sorry does not do much damage per shot but it's able to hit everything in its range so that's where you get this huge high base weight now you have defenses like the expo its actual weight isn't that high but there is an additional part of the algorithm of the war matchup for these elite defenses we don't know exactly what it is there's a lot of speculation on what it is now you get into your you get into your inferno towers now we're getting up into the real high high base weight on the home village that's 12,000 or something like that it's hard for me to see on the screen uh, so now you're getting up into some really high high numbers in the base weight so this is why a lot of engineered bases you'll never see the infernal towers on it you'll never see the eagle artillery on it they just carry so much base weight with them so they'll leave off those particular defenses and because they're leaving off those defenses they are way lower on the war lineup so when your clan that may have one or two town hall 11s and a bunch of town hall uh, one or two town hall tens and a bunch of town hall nines uh, you may end up fighting another clan that has 20 town hall 11s in it to your four or five town hall tens and 11s and then 16 town hall nines so offensively they they just blow these clans away all of these all of their engineered bases they all have max troops but they do not have max defenses now, you, now look, uh, Pekka, which is a, a formidable troop, not used a lot, but still as a, for, with a max Pekka, 1,400 uh, war weight associated with that troop. So it's not adding a lot of weight to max out these troops. I've showed a bunch of different ones, just, just to give everyone an idea of what kind of weight is associated with different troops and uh, in different defenses. You have the wizard. Now wizards, you know, they, they only have four housing space, but they have 1,200, 1,300 base weight. So there's a big difference between the, your P.E.K.K.A. that has about the same amount of weight as a wizard, but it has 25 housing weight. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so basically, the, the P.E.K.K.A. again, single target. Big swing, but single target because it only ha it can only hit one defense or one troop at a time. It's a it's got much less weight than the wizard that can hit a bunch of troops at one time if it's on defense. So how does how does Clash fix this? They did something that we all think that they may have, maybe should have done on the regular home village, but they just haven't figured out a way to do it um, on on the night mode, the the new game mode, the builder base. They have associated a ton of base weight with the troops, and these figures. I had a triple take these when I was when we were getting some of these figures. Yeah, that's sixty thousand base weight for the Night Witch. Sixty thousand. So, in other words, if you're maxing out your troops on the builder base and not maxing out your defense, it does not matter because there is so much weight associated with the witch for example that once she's maxed out you will be facing other bases that are similar to yours no matter what this is a this is a defense that's not in the game quite yet but we still have we already have the stats for it and 15,000 for the 
for the drop ship. It's coming up on that probably uh, Builder Hall 7. The Boxer Giant. 4,000. Now, the regular Giant, I think it's got four or 500. There's just a huge difference in the, in the, in the regular village and your Builder Base. So, Builder Base, 4,000 for the Giant. And if you remember the P.E.K.K.A. on the regular village, now this is the Super P.E.K.K.A. Again, not in the game yet, but it's coming up. It's got 21,000 for a Max P.E.K.K.A. Or the Super P.E.K.K.A. So much more weight associated to these to these troops on the Builder Base. And this is this is primarily to, uh, to prevent players from going with these defenseless bases and just having all troops, all Max troops and, and no defenses. 21,004, the Baby Dragon, which is probably one of the most popular troops right now. And again, these the levels that these are at are higher than they're available in the game. We're able to get some of this out of the AI, AIP or API from uh, from the game. And I'm, I'm kind of just going along with you here. So, the Firecracker, which is the air defenses on the, on the Builder Base. Much lower than than normal uh, the other troops uh, um, the other defenses in the builder base but still 2700 and that's for level 8 then I believe we're gonna go back into some of the bigger ones now here's the multi-mortar and it's it it's amazing really <laughs> 52,000 base weight so I don't know if that's going to I know that we can do the gear up on the uh, for the mortar to the multi mortar. I don't know if that's going to bring that kind of base weight onto the actual village. If it does, you can be you better believe that a lot of people won't won't be gearing up that particular defense at all. Roaster again, another uh, another huge item as far as base weight goes. So this is how Supercell has responded to the engineered problem they're now assigning a ton of base weight to both the offense and the defense to try to level out the playing field so we don't have these lopsided bases now they've 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 long stood for we can upgrade any way we want they're not they're not going to tell us that we have to max out to move on we don't have to max troops out we don't have to max defenses out uh, but on the builder base you can't move up town hall level or builder hall level without getting certain pieces I know so far I've had to get everything in order to move up builder hall level I don't know if that's going to continue throughout the game uh, I'm at builder hall 5 right now I haven't gone to 6 yet on any of my accounts but in builder hall 5 I've had to get everything I couldn't leave any defenses off off of the uh, map in order to get up to the next builder hall level now this is going back to the website and we have a page that's dedicated to just directly towards all the all the weight for every single troop for every single defense We don't have the builder hall on this page yet, but we're getting there on that too And this is this will give you a good idea of exactly what you're going to get from every one of your troops and every one of your defenses as you're upgrading them because I, I am I am not an advocate for engineering your base matter of fact uh, it's something that I've made a couple of fairly embarrassing videos about after we've lost engineer clans. I, I can't stand it myself. I know a lot of other fair play clans and players we're, we're against this engineered uh, base clan thing. But there is a, there are ways that you want to upgrade your, your base and it's just being smart. And that's by moving up town hall level, getting your troops done as quickly as possible and kind of slow playing the defenses because you need your, you need you need maxed out troops long before you need max defenses so you can get your offense going you can get your attacks up and you're able to you know make the loot you need to make in order to get the, the defense upgrades because these things get once you get a town hall 10 and 11 all of these upgrades are in the millions and take 14 days to complete so you actually need as much loot as possible got to have all those troops to do that so <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the the episode. I think it was important to do because the engineered clan topic is still a pretty hot topic in Clash, and I know that the builder base it was a really good solution in that game mode. I know people are still worried about the actual game mode, and 
I feel pretty good about them c continuing what they've been doing, which is tweak the uh, algorithm every update that we get. So we can look forward to that. Every time there's an upgrade, that it gets a little bit better. Um, the engineer clans are going to be facing engineer clans a lot more. And I know that we've seen a steady decline with our clan. And so that's been good news for us too. I'm sure that if you're in a clan right now that has seven or eight engineered bases in it, you're going to see other clans that have at least seven or eight engineered bases in it. So my suggestion is... Uh, to start start looking at uh, fixing some of the some of your engineered bases uh, start adding some defenses to it start uh, trying to push it up to being a little more leveled out because that's really what the game is headed towards I think so easy streets gaming's first special edition on engineered bases finally at its end sub to the channel please go out there and sub to the channel like the video if you like it we got another special edition coming up enjoy doing them hope you enjoy watching it till next time it's been easy take care everybody